Hey guys, um, welcome, how are you? So Tootsie and I are going to be talking to you today about how to safely use essential oils on your pets. Um, we have been using our essential oils. She's been using them as long as we have. Um, so just about five years now. Um, we use them all kinds of things for her. Um, from calming, you know, during like fireworks and um, when she had her teeth extracted, we used them. She had um, 19 teeth extracted at once. And so there's really um, everyday things that you can do for your fur babies. Oh, obviously she needs some peppermint because that yawn was pathetic. So I just wanted to go over a few things with you guys today. And so some of those things are, you know, one is um, we want to introduce, well, let's start more importantly um, mm -hmm. with purity because purity is key. Um, you know, we don't want to put toxins on out on us or on our bodies, right? Um, because we know that disease is on the in, on the rise and cancer is on the rise, and a lot of that has to do with all of the pesticides, the GMOs, um, all of the toxins in our everyday products that we're using. And so um, we can safely use our young living. And why I say young living is because we trust them. We've been to the farm. We know what their growing practices are. Um, they have a seed to seal purity commitment, which basically means that um, we either own our own farms or we're partner with our own farms. And that means we have complete control over growing practices, which also means no GMO seeds, no pesticides, no chemical fillers. You're getting straight from the plant distilled into the bottle from the bottle from the farm to your home. And that's why it's so important to go with um, somebody that you know and not purchase the oils off of like Amazon, which is illegal anyways. So um, purity is key. So when we talk about essential oils and using them safely on our pets and on ourselves, we're always talking about Young Living. Um, that is the only company that we trust. It's the only company that we use. We love them. We love who, who they are, what they stand for, and um, how they give back. So next up, we want to talk about introducing, um, introducing your oils and products um, slowly to your pets because um, if you know anything about pets, they are super sensitive to smells. And so one of the ways that you can do that is um, by diffusing. Diffusing is always a good way to start. Um, that way you're not putting them right on them right off the bat. So we always have a diffuser. In fact, right here next to us, right here next to us, we have a diffuser going. We have another diffuser just right over here on the side. We have one in the bedroom. We have one in the kitchen. And so she's been used to having them around her since day one because we diffuse all of the time. Um, so introducing them slowly. Um, so you wouldn't want to pour a whole bottle of essential oils on your pup. You wouldn't want to immediately take a handful of like five drops and start dousing your pup with them or your birds or your cats, whatever. Um, so starting them slowly and letting them get used to it. So, you know, you're going to hear a lot of people talk about how you, um, shouldn't use oils on, um, on cats. Um, that's totally not true. You can use essential oils on cats. There are certain ones that you should be uh, cautious with. So mm -hmm. citrus oils and then thyme and oregano, you want to um, limit the use, you know, because cats don't have an enzyme in their liver, um, which is how essential oils would be processed through our body. And so they don't have the, they're lacking the enzyme that helps them to filter their system. And so um, if you def by diffusing, it's going to be a great way for cats because you leave a door open, like say you're in the bedroom and you're diffusing, you leave that bedroom door open and that way if they don't like it, they'll leave the room. Cats are really smart about that. Same with with a, any animal, with any pet. And so um, I would always, always leave a door open when you're diffusing with your cats. Um, as far as applying them, again, I would really highly um, dilute or very minimally use tea tree, thyme, oregano, and citrus oils on your cats. Um, we've used all those with Tootsie with no problems. Um, then let's talk about also being, you know, because our pets, we talked about our pets being more sensitive to smells. Um, and so, you know, the next thing you can do is... Um, Sorry guys, I'm looking at my notes. I wanted to try to stay on track because this is the first time I've done this class. Um, so I did want to just talk to you about dilution. You know, diluting um, is 
um, a good way to when you apply. We don't dilute with Tootsie. We did in the beginning when we first started using them on her. Um, we did dilute, but we haven't in so long because she's used to them now. I would suggest that you always start with diluting. Um, I have this little book that you can get from LSP, Life Science Publishing, um, which is an amazing book. It's super thin. It's just a simple little book. It's got a whole lot of information in there. And that's basically what I'm teaching the class from because it's got some very basic mater material in it. I do have a large book, um, a desk reference book, and I'm going to just show it to you really quick so that you can see how big it is. Nope. Stay right there, toots. Stay right there, sister. Um, there is this big book that is animals, um, and it has, you know, horses, cats, birds. It's got all of the pets. Stay right there, sweetie. I gotta sit this down so she don't jump. Okay. So, um, I need my list, sister. Okay. So diluting, we're going to talk about diluting really quickly because, um, it's really cool. Quick tips, birds. Uh, cause diluting, you know, for, um, so if like you have a little, a little dog, you want to dilute 80 to 90% prior to use on smaller animals. So for example, one drop of oil, um, to four to five drops of carrier oil, um, like V6, V6 is a great all around oil. Um, and so you want to use three to five drops of that mixture on cats and smaller dogs. And then for larger animals, you're going to start with three to five of the selective essential oils, um, for larger. And so with, you know, like horses and cattle, you can do anything. And I wanted to talk about a little bit about application because, you know, um, applying them topically is, um, super safe. I see a lot of people talk about how they do it down their pet's spine. Um, that is a great way to do it. Um, initially before we started applying them onto her, we would put them on us and then just hold her. And that way she could get used to them that way. Um, one of the other things that we like to do, and I'm going to just lift her up right here and show you is sit right there, sister, is the inside right here is the inside of their ear flap on the flap right here. See that skin area. That is a great place to apply essential oils. So we like to put, um, lavender stress away, peace and calming, um, during like the fireworks during the 4th of July, or if there's a lot of people over and she's just kind of nervous, that really helps to calm her down. You can also, you know how we talk about the VitaFlex points on the bottoms of our feet. Um, you can also do that for pets. Pets also, um, have on their pads, you can put it on their pads. Um, and so we like to do that, you know, with lavender for her, because then when she licks it, she's getting the lavender internally. It's not going to hurt her. It's going to help calm her. And, um, it's going to help with any of her breathing because as she's getting older, she's eight now. And as she's getting older, her breathing, I've noticed a change in her sounds and her breathing. So, um, that is another great way. And then, um, Let's see, we talked about application. And then just so you guys know, um, there is an actual pet line. It's called Animal Sense that are already that's already already geared, blended, and diluted, ready to go for our pets, which is kind of cool because um you've got like things like pure clean. Thank you, sister, for licking me. Um that is great for cleaning, you know, the affected area, um, like for an injury. There's mend well, there's infect away, there's um, an ointment that they that's for them. So like if they're chewing themselves raw, that's usually a diet issue. So look at what's in their food, no grains and stuff, which is what we're finding. We have had to switch all of that out for her. Um, but then there's rep, uh, repel aroma, tea away, paragize. Paragize would be for like a parasite. And then the Animal Sense Shampoo. So there's shampoo and stuff already geared for them. We like to make our own. So when we take her in to get her hair did, we take her, her own bottle because of the perfumes and the fragrances that are in um, the products that they're using. It causes her to sneeze a lot. It causes her not to breathe correctly. And then it gives me a migraine from all the fragrance. And so what we do is we take a little bottle. We put in part um, lavender uh, shower gel for us. 
Um, everything that's in our products is safe for them too. So we do part shower gel, the lavender shower gel, and then I do part of the Copaiba vanilla shampoo for me that I use in a bottle for her. And so um, we mix that up. Hey, Quentin. And so we make her her own shampoo out of what we use because it's all toxin free. It's Young Living. It's awesome. Um, and so then we're not using the stuff that the groomer would normally use because she just stinks when she comes home with all those fragrances. Um, a couple of more things that we just kind of wanted to talk about was, um, so things like when she had her teeth pulled, um, when she had 19 teeth pulled, we were able to um, help her heal quicker. And so something that we did was we took um, like a tablespoon of coconut oil and then we added a drop or two of Thieves, which is great, which is what Mark and I used when we had all of our dental work, which was our dentist was totally shocked about how quickly we healed. Um, so we added that and then we added some copaiba, which is great for pain and it's super gentle. And then we just put that into a little syringe and we squirted that in her mouth and she healed so fast. Her vet was so shocked. And then we also gave her, um, a little bit of the Nietzsche red. Nope. Stay right there, sweetie. Um, we gave her a little bit of the Nietzsche red. So we put that in, in a little bowl and she would just lap it up. I'm going to put her down so that she doesn't jump down. Good helper. Thanks, toots. Um, so we were able to help her heal quicker and expedite her healing after her dental work, which is super awesome. Um, a couple of other things that we do every so often, I'm not diligent about it, but I should be, is BLM, bone ligament muscle. This is a supplement that I take that really helps me tremendously with my pain. And also sulfurzyme, not sulfur. Um, not sulfa, sorry, not sulfa drugs. It's sulfurzyme. It's a natural form. Um, and these are capsules and what we do is we break them up and we just sprinkle a little bit on her food. Um, so small dogs are very known for, um, hip, uh, and joint issues, especially Shih Tzus. Um, so those are some things that we do for her. And then I just wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit more about a couple of oils that, you know, are super important, important to have around your home. Um, for your pets. So things like thieves, um, what we just talked about, is great for bacteria, inflammation, infections, um, burrs, uh, burns, sorry, burrs. Yeah, burrs, splinters. So one of the great things is, you know, pets get splinters too. So Mark had a really deep splinter that went straight in and we just pour thieves on it. And we did that twice in like 45 minutes and you could actually watch the splinter backing out enough that we were able to grab it with the tweezers and pull it straight out and not have any of it break off. It was pretty stinking cool. We've done that with one of our neighbors too. So we do that for Tootsie too. Um, it's also... Uh, great for her sinus, um, their sinuses and their immune systems too, because we use it every day for our immune system. Um, frankincense is great for like, you know, seizures, or if you've had a pet that was hit by a, um, hit by a car, you can rub that down their spine and it will just kind of calm them. Um, so you can get them calm to see what's going on with them. Um, lavender again is calming. It's got, um, allergic, uh, it's great for allergic reactions. So it's a natural antihistamine, not just for us, for, but for them too. So you can put two to six drops in your palms, um, of your hand, rub them together and then gently rub on her, on her neck, um, on her spine, down her spine and on her stomach. Um, you know, one of the other things, and we're going to talk about digize right now, which is super cool. Um, Digize is great for car or motion sickness, um, vomiting or stomach pain, and for colic for a pet. Um, one of the things that we've used it three separate on three separate occasions, um, we've had to learn not to leave our clothing on the floor. Um, so she's got this nervous habit. Well, she will eat a certain certain portion of the clothing, and then it gets obstructed in her bowels, and she can't have a BM, and she is just miserable. And so what we do is we take Digize, we rub a, a drop or two on our hands, rub them together, and then we rub it on her belly. And every time, all three times, within 20 minutes, she's been outside going to the bathroom, um, which is awesome. And on another occasion, she had a lot of um, vomiting one day, and we couldn't figure out why. And, um, so we just rubbed a little bit of the digize on her stomach and then held it in front of her nose just for a second. And it stopped, um, stopped all of the vomiting. So it's really cool how essential oils work for them too. Um, the, another one that you will want it around to keep around is purification. It's great for insect bites, stings, poison oak, poison ivy, coughing, and anything stinky. So sometimes she likes to go find things in the yard and roll in them. And so I just take a drop of purification, I rub my hands together, and then I rub it over her fur coat, and it takes that stench away really quickly, which is nice. 
Um, Cystus is one that we don't have, but I hear great things, and that's one that's definitely on my wish list. But um, it's great for wounds and lacerations and life-threatening um, uh, injuries. And then Raven. Raven is a respiratory infections and breathing issues. Um, they have lungs just like we do, and they need help supporting their respiratory too. Hang on one second. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Come here. You can come back up here and help me. She likes to go crazy over the mailman. She does not like any mail carrier. I don't know what the problem is with them, but she just cannot stand them. Okay, so peppermint um, is great for vomiting. It's also great for heat stroke. So if your pet is having a heat stroke, you can rub it on the back of their um, on the back of their neck um, in your palms first, of course. Panaway is going to be great for any broken bones, inflammation, ear mites, um, ear infections, ticks. Crazy thing about ticks is ticks do not like peppermint. So if you can take a Q-tip and go around, if the head is buried in there, you can go around the tick with a Q-tip with peppermint on it. And it does not like it because it's so strong, it will back itself out, which is super, super cool. And then we talked about using peace and calming on her. It just calms her down like no other. It's great for, um, it always seems so strange to me when we hear people talk about your pet having anxiety. But, you know, they have emotions and moods and stuff just like we do. And when they're nervous, they need a little bit of support also. And so, um, uh, again, this is just going to calm um, your pet down. Again, we said we like to rub it on the inside of her ear flap right here. And it really just calms her to where she is just such a bucket of mush sometimes but um we love using it on her and then helichrysum is great for seizures sudden collapse hit by a car confrontation um, with other animals and bleeding um helichrysum is like uh, similar to lavender because it stops bleeding like that which is awesome um it's great for um She's never had a bloody nose, but I used it on a bloody nose on my kid. They used to have chronic bloody noses. So, and then the other one, another thing is ortho ease. It's a massage oil. Um, so if you have an older pet, chronic pain, arthritis, acute pain, um, hit by a car or attacked, you can use the pan away. It's going to be great to help them through that painful period in them. Um, we talked about the, the um, animal scents. And then the last thing I just wanted to share with you is there's some great little recipes. I think this book is like, I think it's like $4 or something like that. So if you're gonna use essential oils, again, we're talking about just young living, you should get this little book. It's really cute. It's very, very helpful. It's got a lot of great information in it. It's I think like $4.75 maybe if that, um, $4.75. But then it's got some great little oils and ailments recipes. Um, so anxiety, um, arthritis massage, oil, bad odor, flea repellent, hyperactivity, mosquito repellent, motion sickness, sinus infections, because they suffer with the same things we do. Skin problems, tick repellent, wound care. Um, so basically you just want to use common sense with your pets. You want to start slow and low, low and slow. I always say start low and slow and build to, for your pets. Um, you can always add more if you find that it's not um, helping them. Um, but I think you're going to find less is better, especially with our small little fur babies. So that is all we have today to share with you guys. We thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments. We would love to answer them or help you find an answer to them. And as always, love your fur babies as much as yourself. You know, they don't need any of the toxic chemicals. Um, they're super sensitive and um, you can imagine how our bodies do with them. I keep seeing so many of my friends... Uh, say that their animals have cancer and I always think about how sad that is because um, again we can prevent 95% of cancer in in um, America is caused by environmental only 5% is um, hereditary and so that's going to be the same with our pets and we can minimize that all right guys thanks for joining hope you have a beautiful Saturday I am off to help my husband do some bounce houses God bless